2003 Ford Mustang SVT Cobra 10th anniversary just making a video here just about the car the car is silver metallic it's been lowered I bought Pro Kit. It's sitting on 03 Cobra style rims with drilled and slotted rotors. And since it's the 10th anniversary year model, it comes with the painted calipers. It's got tint. And here's a shot of the back wheels. I'm running uh, Mickey Thompson ET Street uh, comp tires, um, size 315, 3517s, and they hook pretty well. Just got to get them warmed up for them to do their job. So, um, trying to think what else. Um, I've got new um, replacement headlights. Um, and tail lights, uh, new um, license plate cover as well, because the other one was old. Also, a um, new fog lights as well, those were cracked and faded. So shot of the wheel and the front also with the 03 Cobra um, I went ahead and upgraded the stock heat exchanger to a larger dual AFCO heat exchanger and as you can see, I bought a Cobra stencil for it, black. And I think it looks really well on it. Let's see if I can get a close up of it. <clears throat> yeah. So, kind of back up and show y'all. <clears throat> but yeah, that's how she sits. Pretty. Pretty nice stance if you ask me. It's pretty clean. Um, the exhaust is a Magnaflow catback exhaust with Magnaflow Catless X pipe and uh, BBK long tube headers. So I have full exhaust. Um, try to get a farther back. Kind of what it looks like from the back. <clears throat> now I'll go inside and show y'all what it looks like inside. It's kind of dirty. It's been raining for the past couple of weeks, so I haven't really had a chance to clean it thoroughly. But it's not too bad for now. Um. Basically, yeah, this is, like I said, it's the 10th anniversary year model. So, it has the red and black leather interior. And it's pretty clean, if you ask me. For now, at least. Since with all the rain. Um, but, yeah, here's a shot of the inside. Go around to the other side. Here's a shot of the other side. And um, inside I have a, uh, just installed a her short throw shifter um, with a spec stays two clutch and aluminum flywheel. Um, Ford Racing shifter knob 
I had a Hearst teen out before, but I didn't like it, so I switched it out. Um, also, uh, put some glow shift gauges. I'll show you all what those look like lit up. Um, but basically, yeah, that's the layout for that. And the back seats are basically perfect. Haven't no one sat in them, so um, that's basically what the layout looks here. And the only things I have in here are my uh, radar detector, my parking pass, a auxiliary cable, and my Ford SVT uh, booklet manual with my um, uh, Diablo Sport Intune Tuner. Um, that's all I have in here. I don't eat in here. I don't drink in here. Um, no smoking in here. It's it's a very clean, well-maintained car. Um, as you can see in the video, um, I try to keep it very, very clean. And let me go to the other side. <sighs> And I'll kind of start it up so you can see the lights. Um, but yeah, this is how this is how it would be. See, I got the uh, boost gauge, air to fuel, um, voltage. So that's kind of what it looks like um, with it. This is six speed. And um, the glow shift gauges switch lights. Uh, well, I don't even need the keys, but sorry. My camera work is not really well. I don't really do that a lot, but I, I'll turn the HID lights on. And oh, I'm off today. Sorry. I just had a couple of exams I had to take today, and I'm just getting back, so um, sorry. Okay, there we go. Sorry if it. Oh, sorry if it's uh, flickering. Um, it's probably just a video, um, but they switch colors as well. Um, I like the green just because it mo goes with the uh, white face gauges at night the best. So um, that's what I like. <laughs> And um, another shot of the inside. Now I'll show y'all under the hood, which is what y'all want to see. Okay. Lots of custom work. Um, I have the custom painted valve covers red and cool covers black um, I got caster camera plates uh, maximum motorsport caster camera plates installed uh, candy bell booster pump also a JLT ram air intake um, it's got a, it's pulleyed it's got a 2.7 pulley with a shorter belt so um, there's no there's no slack on it also it's got um, brand new intercooler reservoir tanks uh, for the supercharger and then the engine um, it's got Ford Racing 60 pound injectors uh, just installed um, also with the uh, uh, 60 pound injectors of the connector harness and uh, the uh, boost bypass actuator and the EGR valves those are both new um, the Optima battery um, but yeah very very clean engine bay whole bunch of other goodies I probably can't even remember all the stuff that I've installed um, but I'll show you all the HID lights again one more time um, but yeah that's another shot of the engine bay I get lots of compliments on the car a lot of people like it I got my uh, badging right here custom tuned auto tag 
Um, like I said, it has an HID kit. As you can see, HID lights for fog lights and the headlamps. Uh, very bright at night. A lot of people seem to like it. Um, but yeah, a lot of goodies I've done on this car. You can see the description and, and the com um, uh, just in the description you can comment as well. Um, what you like about it or what you don't doesn't really matter. Um, but lots of stuff I've done to this car. I've listed everything I could think of that I've paid for this car. Um, like these were um, hood struts were bought and um, just a whole bunch of other stuff that I bought for this car. And uh, people tell me it's a clean engine bay because, quite frankly, it is. Um, but yeah, this is my dream car. Finally achieved it and try to keep it clean and well maintained. Changed the oil. I'm the one who did most of the work on this. I had a guy from my mechanic at Ford. He's the one who helped me do it, but he just guided me into everything. So I'm the one who did most of the work with the help of him. And uh, it's putting out, it's putting about about 500 horsepower. Um, like I said in another video, I'm supposed to getting a dynoed sometime next week. Um, but with the mods um, that I have, um, they, it said the, the guys at the dyno place said that it should be should be in the 500s, low 500s. So it should be putting up about 500 to the wheels with about 14 to 15 psi um, a boost. <laughs> so uh, excuse me. Um, but other than that, that's basically what I wanted to show y'all was my car and what all it's done. I'm sure there's a lot of other stuff that I haven't said about it, but from what top I can think of my head, I, that's basically what it is. And sorry about my camera work if I shake a lot or if I can't really speak, but I don't really make a lot of videos, so that's why. But I just wanted to kind of make a video of my car and post it to YouTube that way I can see if anyone likes the likes the car that put a lot of money and a lot of hours and manpower into it so I just want other people to see this beauty so more videos to come um, but comment and like it thank you